Yo, what's going on guys? Matt to be here to aka the Clockmaster. We're here to check out Agents of Shield episode one, uh season one, episode six, F dot Z dot Z dot T. Um, so we're here to check this episode out. I'm so glad and very happy to check this one out. Um, make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more reactions to Agents of Shield. Um, you guys are awesome, and I can't wait to uh, keep on reacting to this show, see where it goes. Okay, so without further ado, guys, I'm going to um, react to this. I'm going to take some cool notes down, make sure I have a lot of stuff to talk about towards the end, and then we'll go from there. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys towards the end. Let's get into it now. All right, let's do it. Mr. Cross? Come on, guys. Let's go look for him. Bro, let's go look for him. What the? <laughs> what the heck? This has to be a Halloween episode, right? Hmm that kind of trajectory any idea what could cause an effect like this well if uh, i know no no clue this forehead look at that endothelial discoloration yeah same as bustle pattern as the strike on the truck could be an entry wound cauterized immediately oh <laughs> freaky Damn. excellent timing sir i've been analyzing sagittal and coronal images of the victim's brain in this is the victim's brain it's like a burnt baked potato Dang. That's what happens when it's hit with close to 2,000 megajoules of electrostatic energy. That's almost double the power of a lightning bolt. It's happening again. It's science fits. I have to dissect something. No, the satellite's picking up another electrostatic event, not 20 kilometers from here. Oof. We're at 324 megajoules and growing stronger. Dangerous territory, sir. Yeah, or here she just ran with her feet. <laughs> another one, another body. Jeez. Whoever did this couldn't have gotten far. Oh my god, this freaky dude. The guy who owns the farm's name is Frank Whalen. He's a volunteer firefighter at the same station house as our first victim, Adam Croft. They were both responders when the aliens crashed New York. Two victims. Hmm. Firehouse. Found in the same weird way. Hmm. Killer. Yeah. Yeah. Chitari stuff. Mmm. Hmm. Hey guys, what's uh what's going on? Yep, that's the guy. I'm actually not feeling so hot. Cover the back door. Nobody comes in or out, Mr. Diaz. Are you with me? Oh, there it is. Whatever you're doing, make it stop. I I'm not doing anything. Coulson, I found it. It's a Shatari helmet. So the question, Mr. Diaz, what are you doing with the helmet? The first time anyone's touched it since New York was a couple nights ago. Why? It had rust all over it. We were cleaning it. That wasn't rust. May, don't touch it. So what was it? Not using a weapon, he's infected. I think the helmet oh. is the alien virus. All we did was clean it, I swear. Me, Frankie, and Adam... Viruses, viruses. We decided to clean it. Sir, he's at 600 megajoules and climbing. Oof. Clear everybody out. I die. What's it like? It's beautiful. Dag. They're talking about Tahiti again. It's this whole thing with Tahiti. You better get going, buddy. Got something to do with Tahiti. Damn. Bro, that must be very scary. And they all gotta do sit there and just watch their partner die. Oh, clean, no traces of electrostatic energy. If what you suspect is true, that this is a virus, then they're gonna need a cure. Find one. Yes, sir. Hang on. These cells are from the bodies of the firefighters? Brain cells, yes. The last vestiges of the infection. The virus can move from person to person. Exactly. And that's the most exciting part. Whoa. She was shocked. Dag. She was in contact with the dude. 
these antibodies should be able to target the virus's antigens. If this bloody alien virus even has antigens. Please, no exploding rats. We don't want that. Damn it. They love each other. Gemma loves him. You have to fix this. I don't know how fix. Because no one's actually survived this. Except... It's Atari. It's Atari. You might be able to find something in the helmet. The bastard who actually wore the helmet had the virus. Yes, and I managed to survive without ever emitting electrostatic pulse because... It was immune. Yes. Um, so if, if I can scrape some epithelial cells from the inside of the helmet, we can create a vaccine. Yes. Bro, you should put on quarantine gear. Vincent's dead. Vince. Oh my God, this guy. No, I... You can't be in here. I don't know what you think you're doing. But... I'm doing what we always do. We're gonna fix this. Dang. This man a whole G. Man, y'all got this, man. We already know y'all gonna figure this out. Simmons ain't going nowhere. Soundtrack is nice. delayed response damn Sir, I know the protocol in these circumstances but could you please tell my dad first we're not there yet there's still time damn Sir, please. well she can't die not this episode not so soon she can't I'm so sorry oh my god no! Someone's lowering the cargo hold ramp. It's Simmons. Hey! It worked! The puzzle oh? looked around, Coach. Oh no, she can't hear. Don't jump! Not expecting that, bro. Are you gonna like falcon dive or something and go down and get her? The anti serum worked, but she jumped. Oh, shoot, Ward. Dag, how are you gonna catch up with her in time, bro? You gotta do some Tom Cruise stuff. Let's get it. Damn, yeah, there you go. You gotta do that. Damn, bro, look at this guy. This is something that he can do. This is what they were talking about, him being able to do something that he could, you know, to help save people. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy you're both alive. Truly. But what you did today, that was not your call. We'd hate to lose you, Gemma. Thank you, sir. <laughs> He's mad. That's like his daughter. That's like his kid. So, I thought what you did was incredibly brave. I don't feel fine. I feel different. Yeah. This goes back to that whole thing. She knows something. She's not going to say anything. She's going to tell him now? Take off your shirt. What did they do? What's on his body? The stab wound. He has no heart. Six seconds or 40. You died. You feel different? Because you are different. Ward did an amazing thing, yes. But it wasn't Ward by my side in that lab searching for a cure. It wasn't Ward giving me hope when I had none. It was you. You're the hero. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you. Just kiss already. Just kiss already. Come on, just kiss already. We already know what's going on. Yeah, I know the vibes. Do the vibes know you? What's going on with him, though? Why is he staring like that? talk about this one but i gotta go close the window because somebody decides to do the lawn so give me one second yeah guys i'm so sorry i don't know who decided to do their uh they're mowing their lawn or something out front it's like super super loud it's hard to concentrate let me wait a second and see if they if they stop okay i'm starting to get quiet whatever i can't do anything about it gotta try my best to not to not to not hear it <laughs> um man it's so distracting it's so loud <sighs> so let's talk about this episode so um it all started out with the lightning the the lightning at the campground and everyone seems to have like this uh this humming this humming noise in their head and they're trying to figure out what's going on with that so at first because it started out with them telling like a little scary story i'm thinking that like maybe it was gonna be like some type of halloween themed episode just because um they were just out there telling the story and you know they do like those campfire stories and then something then crazy happens like after that so i was wondering if something like that was going to happen um with you know with the whole entire thing but that's not what happened so thank like thank god that that's not what happened because um uh, like i said i would have thought it was going to be some type of like halloween type thing um so that's the one thing that i that i uh that i wrote down now i keep going back to this whole thing with colson and tahiti um we saw in the first episode they were talking about how he didn't know he doesn't know something and he keeps talking about tahiti and like it was amazing and something like that and i also wrote down that he mentioned it because when he was talking to the firefighter he was kind of showing some empathy and he was kind of like sharing his story like i know what it feels like i was in your position and then when i you know went over it was completely different for me so that was and then he said it was beautiful so i don't know when he t and then they, it actually went to may uh to may's character excuse me so it went to her character and it showed that like she like made a face or something so i don't know if again she knows more than uh than they know and i guess she can't say anything about it because he said it was beautiful and maybe it was only beautiful because shield connected something to his head that allowed him to feel like if he was on vacation or something um but uh or maybe maybe it was just the fact that he didn't know that he was dead that's the thing he might have felt that um he was on a vacation or something, and he and they probably just revealed during this episode that he knew that he was dead to begin with, and that he wasn't really in Tahiti, um, but that he just knew that he was dead. So um, that could be something that hopefully comes up a little bit later. Um, another thing that I noticed as well is that the group dynamic is starting to grow. So I like that they're taking their time to show the group um growing and going through these different stages and uh going through different things and becoming closer obviously ward was a little bit still upset with sky from what she did in the last episode with her ex-boyfriend so he's still kind of holding a grudge about that too um but as we saw towards the end of the episode they started to make up with that as concern now fitz and simmons i keep i kept saying it during the reaction like i think that eventually they're going to end up like being in a couple like, like being a couple sorry not being in a couple being a couple uh just because they seem to have like this dynamic i feel like they just love each other like that's just kind of how i feel like they just love each other man like you know he doesn't realize it and i feel like she actually loves him or likes him in a certain romantic way but he doesn't know it yet and i feel like he doesn't know or he hasn't realized it yet maybe towards the end of this episode is when he kind of realized it so i don't know if they're going to have more of a friendship type of relationship or their you know their type of connections are going to grow into being some type of romantic relationship so i'm looking forward to see what happens to that please don't answer any of these questions or any of my suspicions or predictions i just want no foreshadowing i just want you guys to watch i mean and 
enjoy um yeah also like getting hit getting hit with 2000 mega jewels um is a lot <laughs> that's a lot of that but we had actually but we actually found out that it was actually inside the head so we're actually going to talk about that a little bit now so it was cool seeing chitari helmet and i like how they in you know they uh they they uh they interweb different uh things from the mcu and different things from the movies and kind of incorporate it into the shows um especially into this show so i'm actually glad that uh, kind of cool that they did that and was able to incorporate the chitari helmet and that he showed you know it showed the firefighters who were there going at the rescue trying to rescue people so it actually kind of connects the two together so that was actually very cool but the thing is that we found out was um with, with the chitari helmet is this whole alien virus thing and it's crazy because i literally am watching a part in um i'm literally watching a part right now in uh the walking dead where um there's this like virus going around this kind of thing going around so it's crazy that in the walking dead and in this there is you know this virus thing and then we're actually going through a pandemic right now so this is kind of uh, this is kind of ironic that's why i just wrote it down because i wanted to mention it just because it's kind of ironic that um uh, uh or just it's just, it's just so weird that we're kind of going through that well not kind of we are going through uh, through a pandemic right now and there's talks about a pandemic and stuff in these shows so that's just kind of interesting um and they always been talking about it, that kind of stuff in shows and movies for a very 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 long time um uh, i don't think there's anything else there to really talk about except for what happened with Gemma doing that test man i actually thought that she was gonna die this uh, like okay so i knew that she was gonna die but it was like a part of me was like what if they actually do something and it kind of bring her back like coulson because when she jumped out i'm like there's no way i'm like there's no way she's actually gonna die it actually caught me caught, caught me off guard i wasn't expecting her to do that specifically i thought they were just gonna figure it out um but when she knocked out uh, uh fitz but you know that's when i kind of figured that that was what was going to happen and then we saw that ward you know jumped out and did that really cool james bond tom cruise looking scene um that, that scene was actually really dope so it was cool it was really cool to see that and the last thing i want to mention too um is i don't know if it's just me but i'm noticing like uh tension between like colson and uh may i feel like there's gonna be i don't know about me but that's my relationship radar is kind of going off i don't know if there's gonna be some type of um relationship that's gonna brew between the two of them um i wonder what's gonna happen with that just because i feel like they have like these weird intimate like staring moments i just don't know if they're just like really good friends or if it's gonna turn into something because the way she'd be looking at him and he looks at her sometimes and like colson it's kind of hard to tell what he's thinking just because he has like he always has this cold kind of weird half smile kind of look on his face whenever he's talking with people so sometimes you don't know how he really feels about a situation kind of like a, a really interesting poker poker face but then sometimes you can tell when he's mad like for when he was going off on um he, when he's going off on simmons he was like uh Gemma, he was like yelling at her and he was like uh, genuinely upset about that because he i guess it's like his team like his family um he's like i guess like a daughter to him you know in a way or she can become sort of like a daughter to him so he was really mad you can actually tell that he was genuinely genuinely mad uh in that scene so i don't know what's gonna i was gonna happen between may and phil it's kind of got these kind of looks going on it kind of have like this type of tension going on between the two of them so i don't know if that's going to turn into something or they're just going to stay uh friends and maybe she's just like a really good friend that just cares about colson um as a buddy you know as a friend so we'll see what happens with that going forward into the next episode but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed my reaction uh that's all the notes i took um i wonder how long and like i said this is this is something i didn't take but i wonder how long it's actually gonna take for um for sky to get her bracelet off that little uh thing that prevents her from doing stuff i wonder how long it's gonna be before it um before they actually take it off of her you know and and, and she can go back to like this so hopefully in the next episode or a, a couple episodes after that they'll actually take it off of her so she can have freedom to do what she wants to do um but anyways guys thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode i hope that you enjoy my reaction and my thoughts um towards this towards the end of this episode and uh yeah i just hope you guys enjoy just my reactions to these in general so with that said just thank you very much and i will see you guys in the next so thank you so much for watching clockmaster out